diabetes mellitus although it's a greek and latin word but every household in india is very much aware of the condition because of its sheer prevalence among across all the indian families today so largely it, uh, it simply means passing of excess wheat urine uh, but what it is it is a metabolic disorder which mainly involves the metabolism of carbohydrates proteins and lipids all three are involved in this common to the understanding it only involves the glucose so it is classically characterized by long standing high glucose state in the system so this chronic long standing glucose state leads on to damage to the tissues is what we try to prevent when we treat diabetes mellitus so why does this occur actually so there is an organ called pancreas behind the stomach whenever we have our food which is usually has carbohydrates proteins and lipids and this carbohydrates finally broken down into glucose and usually this gets into the blood system and at that point this pancreas produces its important hormone called insulin this insulin starts distributing the ingested glucose into the tissues largely to the muscles as well as the fat tissue where it is actually stored for long term usage and this is largely dependent on insulin so whenever there is a deficiency of insulin like in type 1 diabetes mellitus where a patient will have absolute deficiency of insulin as a result their glucose will be very high for a long time secondly or there can also be insulin resistance which is commonly seen in adult population what we define as type 2 diabetes mellitus which happens to be seen in 90% of all the diabetes mellitus cases so these patients because of insulin resistance although there is excess insulin body is still not be able to use the glucose so these are the two commonly described mechanisms why diabetes happens and now why do we treat it the treatment largely is preventive preventing of the complication that it can be associated with on long term when it is in a state of uncontrolled uh, hyperglycemia so one should be worrying because it can compromise their quality of life to a significant level when the complication starts arising as well as uh, the complications can make his life uh, financially socially uh, as well as emotionally a lot uh, lot on his uh, state of uh, life so what happens with diabetes it can lead on to visual problems it can be as be associated with nerve problems like the patient can have significant burning in their feet or numbness or tingling and it can predispose them for developing foot ulcers which can be uh, long standing to heal and other problems like uh, when compared to normal population they are at very high risk of developing stroke heart attacks and peripheral vessel diseases so this is the reason why do why we treat these patients and make the glucose level trying to be you know controlled for a very long time post covid zone like we are worried about the communicability of a disease but this is unlike the infectious ones these are absolutely non communicable diseases the reason why it happens is largely the genetic predisposition that we all inherit from our parents associated with our lifestyle and the environmental factors which we encounter on day to day basis so uh, it's non communicable in the first place but secondly some of the associations that have been commonly found where a person can actually develop diabetes are or sedentary lifestyle wrong eating habits uh, obesity and too much of stress in their lives all this can predispose for one to develop diabetes mellitus no the answer is no in the first place it does not get transmitted from you know being in contact with blood or saliva or you know touching the objects what the diabetes patient has just like unlike the other infectious diseases secondly like in diabetes it can happen in the families uh, because one person inherits the specific gene and that gene can predispose the other person to develop diabetes eventually but unless there is an uh, lifestyle issues or environmental factors that determines the development it may not actually uh, manifest in the next generation but the mother often questions whether if she is diabetic during her pregnancy will that be a reason for the child who would be developing diabetes in later stage uh, the study says currently yes there's a possibility of they developing but by and large it is manageable with good lifestyle uh, or preventable with lifestyle 
exception are the few genetic disorders of diabetes mellitus where it can be transmitted uh, from parents to their offsprings.